go to Walmart, probably pick up some paint. But it does look really good with the black contrast against the white cage. Welcome back to another video guys. Today it's time to get the E36 drift cart back on the road. Now it's been getting caged and the cage has been done for like a couple weeks now and I've just been kind of having it sitting around doing the S14 things and I need to put the dash and the seats back in it. However, these eBay seat brackets have been giving me grief the entire time I've had them. This arm right here, this little leg of it, even broke off. I don't even know how, it was just the welds of it just snapped. Kind of got it grinded down so I can get to uh, the bare metal. I'm gonna go ahead and weld that back on there. I'm about 6'4", so I need leg room. So I didn't, these holes did not quite line up where I needed them to. Ended up having to put some like big thick washers right here and going into these holes. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead, grind all this off and weld it together. And it's never gonna come off again, but it's all right. It's where I need it to be. And we can get these seats back in the car. This is the current state of the car. One side of it's pretty clean. The other's a bit dirty. Hoping to get that dash back in tonight. But I, before I do that, I do need to paint this cage because it sat out in the rain one day and it's already rusting a little bit on me, which is not good. I need to go ahead and knock that rust off. Go to Walmart, probably pick up some paint. Probably just paint it white for now and hit it with a little bit of spray paint. But if you guys have not seen this cage, it was done by my buddy Charlie at Momentum Manufacturing here in Oklahoma. Did a, did a really good job on it. So we definitely need to coat it with some paint. Just got done welding up the seat bracket. Some of the welds didn't come out the best because um, uh, the powder coating or paint on the back side of this stuff, I didn't grind off the back and it was just starting to smoke and wasn't going the best. But anyway, I think it's on there. I welded here, here, and I'll flip it on the other side, the back of there. I'm gonna leave the bolts in just cause this side uh, will not have a bolt, but it's all right. I think the welds will hold, hopefully. With that done, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up, get it back in the seat and get the seats ready to go in. The other seat's sitting back in the corner. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start looking at the dash. It's chilling over there. The carpet is still at my house, not at the shop here yet. I need to go ahead and bring that over. I think I'm gonna try to put the carpet back in, but also need to clean up the interior because the passenger side still has a bunch of junk in the back, but this thing's gonna be sweet when it's done. Well, that dash is definitely gonna need a lot of cutting. I'm, I've never put a dash back in a car that has a roll cage back in it. Subaru up here has a cage, I just put the gauge cluster in it. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sawzall and just kind of trim it just a little bit. It's not even fitting in. It's not a street car, it's just a drift car. I don't really care too much about it. I just need to get in there so I can have my gauges and set it all in there properly. But I think I'm gonna get to cutting, lining it up, make sure it fits, take it back out, and then get to, we definitely need to get to painting. It's currently a couple days later and today I think I'm going to go ahead and run by Walmart, pick up some spray paint for the E36 roll cage and get to spraying on this thing so I can get the interior put back together and get it back on the road. I need to clean that rust off, scotch bright to get it all scuffed up, clean and good to go. And I'll hit it with some paint. It's going to be tough to get every single little nook and cranny up at the top, but I'll try my best. It's a white car anyway, so if I get a little overspray on the body, it's not a huge deal. It is a drift missile. Got the paint, also got some steel wool, scuffing it up, clean it up, get it painted, no rust, let's go. It's a couple days later, the E36 cage is already cleaned. I'm about to scuff it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this stuff. Saw this stuff at Harbor Freight, this is pretty much just shrink wrap. It's 490 yards of it. It was like 20 bucks. I'm gonna use that to mask off the interior as far as all the little bits and pieces of the dash so I can just kind of wrap it in the shrink wrap and it will be able to kind of conform to it and I'll be able to hopefully paint like kind of the top of the cage so I'll be able to run shrink wrap through this gap along the front of the windshield and kind of mask the windshield off as well. I'm using a little bit of scotch bright just to scuff it up a little bit, get it clean so we can go ahead and get to painting. Just finished up with the cage paint. It actually came out pretty nice so far. It's been sitting for a couple hours drying. Got, uh, got it looking pretty good. The hardest thing about painting the cage is getting every single angle there is. So as far as like the back, since it is the two door, it's difficult to get the back of like this bar here. I got most of it, I kind of crawled back there. There's a lot of 
It's a lot of overspray, that's why I put all this stuff down. But I will have to take all the masking off, and if I miss a spot or two, I guess I will have to go ahead and hit it once or twice. It's not gonna be perfect, this is kinda like a missile seat time car, so I'm not too worried about it. So I was having a hard time painting the spots that are up against the glass. As you can see in here, uh, this is not quite painted here, along with like the back of this bar, because I had black plastic draped on along the back, and I couldn't really get into the back. So my plan is with that, I'm going to actually leave it for now. And whenever I remove these quarter windows to replace them with the Condor Speed Shop polycarbonate ones, shout out to Condor Speed Shop if you need any bushings or any windows, or they have a whole bunch of good stuff for BMWs, make sure to hit up CondorSpeedShop.com. When I yank these out, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with another thing of spray paint. I don't think it's going to rust. It has some paint on there. It's not perfect right now. And then I can put the polycarbonate windows back in and we should be good to go. Put the car ready for the carpets to go back in. Andy has helped me vacuum up these OEM carpets. We're just going to go ahead and clean them up, spraying them with a little bit of the uh, good old carpet cleaner so we can put them back in the car, kind of get a nice, kind of an OEM, OEM look. I think it looks a lot better with the black carpets for sure, along with the dash. Hopefully we can get it all in tonight, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes out good. So we got the carpet back in. I did have to do a little bit of trimming along the back and also along this point here that welds to the floor. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Anyways. I got the driver's seat just kind of plopped in there now. I need to go ahead and find the hardware so we can get it bolted in. I did a, I did a little clean on the carpets. I need to do a little bit more. So, But it does look really good with the black contrast against the white cage. I like it. Well, it ended up getting a little bit late on us, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. The BMW currently sits with one seat in here. It is looking good. I'm liking how this is looking. I will have to pull the seat back out. It's not bolted in to put the harness in. Just have to wrap it around the back bar and bolt it in on that side and that side. I don't really want to have time to do that tonight. And I don't think I want to put, include the time lapse. So you guys will definitely see this car with fully dressed with both seats and the harness in another video. Next video you guys will see will definitely be these little BC racing coilovers going on next video. If you're watching this video in advance, make sure you go check that video out. It'll be probably the next one or a couple after this. I know this video was over a couple days. It took me, I think it's been like a week or two from start to end, just from day to day, just kind of knocking a few things out. That is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.